Good Wednesday afternoon, everyone. Welcome to your 12 p.m. Express Apps class. Uh, TJ here for today's class. You'll just need a mat. So to get started, we're going to start off on hands and knees. So hands are gonna be directly underneath your shoulders and then your hips are gonna be directly over your knees. We're gonna take one hand. So I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna place it um, back behind my head. And I want you to bring the elbow down towards the wrist of that left hand. And then I want you to twist and open up. Again, this is all for that, um, that thoracic rotation. Ready, go. So again, right elbow, left wrist, and then open it up. Left wrist, open it up. Keep going. We're just gonna do this a couple more times. Give me one more. Really open up, and then we'll switch, and we'll do the other side. And again, hands and knees. If you feel like just kind of being on, um, you know, on your knees is a little much, you could always just kind of sit back and do the same motion. It's a little easier. Ready? Go. So just a few. So left elbow to the right wrist. And again, make sure you open up. I kind of shorted myself on that first one. So open up. Again, allowing that twist or that rotation. Keeping that core engaged. Last one. Excellent. All right. So let's move into the first exercise. So that was just to get the mobility within our spine. So for this first exercise, I'm gonna have you take your hands, cradle them under your hip, and I want your feet up at 90. Option one, you could just tap your heel out in front of you and then bring your legs back to 90. Otherwise, option two is a straight leg raise. All right, ready, go. So the bent knee with the heel tap, is more doable than the straight leg, keeping that core engaged. And if you do the straight leg raise, you could always stop halfway and then lift back up. Again, it's more challenging when your heels are floating about six inches off the floor. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. So we're going to turn it over and we're going to do the Superman today. So not the bridge. All right. So we'll start with the lower half of the body. And so it's just the legs are straight out behind us and we're just lifting to where those knees hover off the floor. Back down and back up. Ready? Go. So lifting those legs, squeezing through the glutes at the top, feeling that through the low back. Great job. So my legs are apart as I'm lifting straight up. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, turn it back over. And we're gonna go back to that leg raise. So option one, legs bend at 90, heel tap out in front of you. Otherwise, option two, straight leg raise. Ready, go. Nice job, keeping that core engaged and making sure that we're breathing. 
and it could I know it could be a little challenging, especially with the straight leg raise and your it's a little tough. Again, make sure that your hands are cradling your low back. Just to protect the low back. Almost there. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Turn it over. So back to Superman. Now uh, this time the lower half is going to stay on the floor and the upper half is going to lift up. All right. So either hands in front um, or otherwise your arms could be bent, elbows by your side and just moving the upper body up and down off the ground. Ready? Go. So I'm just lifting the chest off the floor. Still squeezing through the glutes as I come up, feeling it through the low back. Nice job. So for the last and final round, we're gonna do both the hands and the lower body. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Flip it over. We've got one last and final leg raise, one last and final Superman, all right? So remember option one, Legs bend at 90, heel tap. Option two, straight leg raise. Just cradle your hands around your backside. Ready? Last one, go. So really keeping that belly button drawn in towards the floor. If you feel like for any reason, like there's just way too much pressure within that stomach region, especially if you have like a hernia, you would probably want to downplay or go with the less like challenging version of that and just do the heel tap just so you don't aggravate anything like that. Just be careful. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, so roll it over. One last and final Superman. Like I said, arms and legs are working this time. Ready, set, go. So both the lower half and the upper half are lifting off the ground. And again, you could always just lift the lower half if you prefer. Again, squeezing through the glutes or through the muscles in your hips, feeling it through the low back. And after this, we'll just do a quick child's pose. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. So child's pose, sitting back onto the heels with your hands out in front. Just feeling that stretch through your low back. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna turn over and we're going to do a little rotational one for the obliques, but also for the hips. And so we're gonna have our feet, or our legs are gonna be bent, feet flat on the floor, and we're just going to let it rotate. So again, falling about halfway to one side, use your core to pull it back in, your legs towards the center, and then go opposite side, use your core, or keep your core tight, when you move your legs back towards the center. All right, alternating, ready, go. So 
So again, the feet, it's kind of like you think a windshield wiper on the car. So showing a modified version, which is this version, it's the easiest version out there. Now, if you are at home and you do have a stability ball, you could always use a stability ball and put your feet up on top and that would just kind of progress it or make it just a little more challenging. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so from here, we're going to go feet up at 90 degrees. You're just gonna hold your legs, but we're gonna do a basic crunch, keeping your chin off your chest. Ready, go. So using your hands to support your head, keeping the chin off the chest, imagining there is a small ball or something small and round, just right underneath your chin. Nice job. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Before we move on to the next one, I just want you to extend your legs out in front of you so your whole body is straight and on the ground and just reach overhead and point your toes away from your body. Just a nice little stretch before we go to round two. All right, so we're gonna go back to the windshield wiper with the legs. So either feet down on the ground and legs are bent, otherwise, legs up at 90 degrees, and same sort of thing. All right, ready, go. So if your legs are up at 90 and you're rotating, use your hands to cradle your backside. So kind of think like the bumper, you know, the bumper guards of a bowling alley, just to keep your body stable and protect your back. Nice job, keep it up. So again, think windshield wiper motion, keeping the core engaged. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, set those feet down. And now actually bring those legs up to 90 degrees. And we're gonna go crunch. Number two, ready, go. So since we started just a couple minutes later and making sure we're doing our full 15, we've got one more round and we'll do one quick stretch. So bear with me. So again, hands cradling your head, legs up at 90 degrees. You got this, come on, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. So straighten those legs, hands overhead really quick. We've got one last and final round. We can do this. All right, so either feet down on the ground, legs are bent, remember windshield wiper. Otherwise, legs up at 90, and remember, cradle on your backside. Ready? Go. So last one, I promise. So again, just letting it go about halfway, or in this case, about 45 degrees. So if we remember that L, if you think like the letter L, but you kind of take that half like motion. So in that case, it ends up looking like, well, 
a very weird angle. It's kind of like a smushed L shape. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. All right, so legs up at 90 degrees. One last and final crunch. Ready, go. Let's knock it out really quick. I appreciate you coming to class and hanging out with me. Keep those legs up at 90 degrees. Hands behind your head, keeping your chin off your chest. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent job. All right, so we're gonna make a figure four, crossing that right ankle over the left knee. Reach through the hole with your right hand and wrap around that left leg. Just doing a quick, quick glute stretch. And while we we're doing that, I will tell you for classes for tomorrow. So we've got small group strength at 6.40 a.m. in person. Let's switch and do the other leg. And then we've got uh, 12 p.m. stretch break virtual. And then we've got 12.30 uh, total body challenge, which is in person. All right. You guys have a great day.